oh, sis, stay out of the pot, don't they? Even if it means scaring their fans and manipulating them and making them worried just for the sake of views. Trash. Just trash. All you hear is gossip. Man, all I hear is gossip. Yeah, man, call it gossip. Justin McBroom posted a tweet saying, Today is a sad day for us. And he tagged Catherine in it. Now, Catherine is currently pregnant. And so that caused a lot of speculation what they would be sad about. People were wondering if it had anything to do with the baby, if it had anything to do with the pregnancy overall, if anybody was hurt or not okay. People were just really concerned. Someone even posted, you can't just tweet something like this and not expect us to get concerned. I hope it's nothing bad. So people were getting really worried. And there are hundreds and hundreds of tweets of people hoping that it's not anything super bad or not anything to do with the baby or the pregnancy. People were legit concerned. So then he posts, stay tuned for today's video. You'll understand why soon. Now, <laughs> some people notice straight away that the fact that he's promoting the vlog basically says a lot about the fact whether this is serious or not. Someone's like, thank God it was just you guys trying to plug your new blog means it's nothing that serious. And even Jackie Aina was like, uh, so we can't laugh when he makes clickbaity tw tweets. So a lot of people saw through the fact that he's talking about, you know, th it being a sad day and then promotes the vlog right after, which says that it was probably nothing super serious. But still, there were a lot of tweets about people you know, worried about what it what it was. Someone's like, my heart dropped as soon as I read this. Hope everything's okay. So despite the fact that some people were annoyed, there were still hundreds and hundreds of tweets of people being concerned. And that led to Austin literally having to say, the girls, baby boy, and everyone's fine. It's just a sad day. And like, it's like, come on, you knew what you were doing, just like T-Spill said, and uh, he blocked T-Spill, of course. And somebody also, it's so disgusting to me how low people are willing to go knew that saying that would cause panic. He knew not saying everyone was okay right away would drive up engagement. Absolutely pathetic. And to be honest, I agree. I mean, a lot of people felt relief right after he said that, like, because they were legit scared and, like, concerned for the family. I mean, they have a lot of fans and a lot of people just are invested in their well-being and just care about them. So the fact that he's willing to manipulate his fan base just to drive up engagement is just so not okay i mean after that he started dropping tidbits we had to get rid of something we didn't want to get rid of you'll see in today's video so you start seeing that it's really not as serious as people would assume and i mean as they would logically assume because when you post something like that it's like you're gonna scare people you know pregnancies is such a what's the word like tender what's what's the word like delicate it's so delicate and like things can go wrong of course you always pray that everything goes all right. But, you know, people are aware that miscarriages happen, death, even deaths happen, etc. Like, it's just something not to be clickbaity about. I just, I was a bit disgusted, to be honest, that they just don't care. Like, it's like, how can we drive up engagement? How could we make this video um, up the views so we can, you know, get that money or sell our merch, etc. In the end... <laughs> What they were sad about was getting rid of their car, Shelby. And it's not even, like, a big deal. Like, well, the reason why I say it's not a big deal, I mean, they have many other cars, like six or so. Don't quote me. I haven't actually counted. But they have several cars. They're wealthy enough to buy another one. And they're giving this up, they say, because the family is growing. So I'm guessing maybe they're replacing it for a more family-friendly car. Who knows? Who cares? It's kind of like... This was not that serious. This was not something that people needed to be worried about and concerned about and just like upset about. And yet he knew that in order to get them views, he had to stir the pot a little bit and make people feel worried about them or they they basically kind of use their baby as bait. I mean, you may not agree with me. Maybe you see it as a stretch, but it did feel as if th there's no way that they innocently posted that and didn't think that people would be legit concerned about the pregnancy because that's what's everyone you know that's <laughs> that's what's happening with them right now they're pregnant they're gonna have a baby boy soon and it's just to me it's like how low can you go 
Like, how low are you willing to manipulate your fans to get the views up? Because selling your car is really not that serious. I mean, people do it every day. I mean, yeah, it, it's just like, it's just about being aware. And the, the fact that they have like six other cars or many other cars, it's just like, why should we care that you're getting rid of this one car? It's just... I, I I was really frustrated because it's like, how disconnected do you have to be? Like, people literally get rid of their car because they don't have means to continue paying it. Like, you're getting rid of it to, like, like there's, there's nothing literally going wrong. It just makes logical sense for you to sell it, according to you. I mean, yeah, whatever. But it's just... What do you guys think about this whole situation? Do you, like, because I saw on Twitter that someone was upset with other people speculating what was wrong. Literally, she was saying that it gave her anxiety. And I'm like, girl, like, it's that, people are not randomly speculating this. They clickbaited everyone. They made everyone feel concerned about it. And it's just, it's just really manipulative. It really goes to show that they really do not care about y'all. They don't care about their fans. They don't care. They just say, like, just watch us. And if, if I can get those eyeballs by any means necessary, I'm willing to do that. Even if that means I'm going to scare y'all and make y'all think that the worst just happened. I mean, people are literally dying these days from like the coronavirus that's going on. And it's like, that is serious. That is something that's impacting a lot of people. You selling your car, you like multimillionaire Selling your car is not something that people need to be super concerned about. People legit being like worried because they care about you is not something that you should take advantage of. I mean, that's my personal opinion. That's how I feel about the whole situation. What do you guys think? Are you an Ace Family fan? Because I'm not and I don't think that it's okay how they handled it. It's not what... It's not how I would go about things, but I understand that some people just by any means necessary just need to get them eyeballs up. So do you find it absolutely disgusting that they were willing to manipulate their fans? Do you not care and think that, you know, people shouldn't have been speculating from the jump? What are your thoughts on the whole situation? I'm really curious to know, even if you're an Ace Family fan, because I'm not really... I, I'm I, I'm just trying to call it like it is. I don't consider myself a fan. I don't consider myself a hater. I only hear about them when there's some drama or some massive scandal. Hint, hint. Um, even like the they just seem like a couple of rich people that are just not that have lost touch. Because I know they didn't they you know didn't grow up rich, but they've kind of have lost touch with the way things were before they made their millions. That's how I view it. Kind of reminds you of when they're like, how cool is it that we have a job, a nine to five? Look at us, guys. Oh, my gosh. That's kind of what it makes me it's like disconnected because I'm like, people are going through serious issues right now. And here you are making people concerned about the fact that you decided to sell a car out of the many other cars that you have. Please, like, <laughs> just give me a break. Anyway, but I'm curious to know, do you guys agree with me? Is this like not OK? Is this super like manipulative? I mean, what are your thoughts? Do you think people should have just not jumped to conclusions? I'm curious to know your thoughts on it. All right, guys. I will catch you in the comments. Talk to you soon. Bye. Man, call it gossip.